Good day guys, today we're going to be trying out Postmarket OS on our Asus Chromebit CS10. To do this, you will need a USB hub with a USB mouse and keyboard, and also a flash drive with Postmarket OS written to it. You'll also need to make sure the Asus Chromebit has USB booting enabled. To start off, we do need to enable USB booting on our Chromebit, and to do that, we will need to enter the recovery console by holding down the reset button on the back while we turn it on. So, choosing a safety pin and plug in the power while holding it down. And keep holding it in for a few seconds. And that should be in the recovery console. Let's turn the TV on. I'm also using a generic USB hub once again, just so I can connect a mouse and keyboard to it. And obviously to actually boot, we will be connecting the flash drive. Okay, we've booted into recovery. So now we have to enter developer mode by pressing control D. And then as it says on the screen, for the uh, Chrome bit, we just have to press the recovery button on the back of the Chrome bit with a little pin again, just using a safety pin. There we go. And after waiting about another 30 seconds, it's finally starting to transition into developer mode. It takes a few minutes to do that, so we'll come back when it's done. All right, we're finally in developer mode. It ended up taking less than five minutes, which is pretty good. So first of all, we'll just press let's go and connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, the Wi-Fi is connected. Next, press accept and continue. Okay, I did press browse as a guest, as you can see. So first of all, we'll hold Control alt press T to open up a shell. Now we're in crush, we'll type shell to get into a bash shell, and that worked fine. sudo su to get root. Yep. Uh, next, we have to actually disable the USB boot, which is cross oh, system, CROS system, space, dev underscore boot underscore USB equals one space dev underscore boot underscore signed underscore only equals zero. And there was no errors, so we'll just exit out of that. Exit out of that. Maybe exit out of that one too, just for good measure. And we just have to restart the system. Okay, I've plugged everything in, and as usual, at this screen, we want to press Control u to boot from the flash drive. To create the flash drive, I did just go to Postmarket OS website, went to the install page, scrolled down a little bit, and downloaded the stable image for Google Veyron Chromebooks. Currently, it's version 24.06. Once it was downloaded, I extracted it and wrote it in Windows using Rufus. It's a bit hard to see, but there is the Postmarket OS icon in the center of the screen. Very, very, very small. Okay, at the login page, let's click on Linux user. The default password for the pre-built image is 147147. Press enter. And we're at the desktop. So we'll skip the tour. One great thing about this distro is everything does work out the box, including Wi-Fi. So I'll connect to that now. All right, my Wi-Fi is connected. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open up Terminal. And we will install Chromium. So this is a little bit different. It's based on Alpine Linux, I believe. So to install uh, packages and things like that, you want to use APK. But you do want to do sudo APK and then update. Uh, enter the password for this user, which is 147147. Oops. 147147. I had numlock off. And this will just make sure all the repositories are up to date, and it's done. Next, we'll do sudo apk add. Uh, you use add instead of install for this, but it's the same thing. 
and we'll do chromium. And yes, we want to add it. It does have Firefox installed. We'll just have a look at what's installed while it's installing. To get to the uh, app drawer, you go to the top left, press that, and that brings you to this little weird screen. And you've got the taskbar at the bottom. The software store doesn't load for me. Uh, doesn't open at all. I press it, nothing happens. You've got file manager, calendar, just a basic text editor, uh, running app, so console. When the console's closed, this isn't uh, shown. Go show apps. We've got a bunch of stuff on here. It does come with Firefox. And Lollipop is a audio player, not a video player. Calculator and stuff like that. System monitor's good. It's like task manager. You can view your resources and uh, kill processes. And camera, but there's no camera on this device, obviously. Great, so Chromium's finished installing. Uh, I'm not sure what the default root password is, but you can change it by typing in sudo password root. And I'll just give it a new password. I'll just call it root for now. Oops, got to input the current password first. And then the new password for root. I'll just call it root. Done. So now we can go su root. We have uh, root access. Let's try some YouTube playback with Chromium. It is a bit slow to open. Go to YouTube. As you can see, it's not the fastest device in the world. And we'll just try one of my old videos. We'll try the button swap. G'day guys, today I'm going to show you how to swap the buttons between a snap control. Turn the volume down. So we'll see how we're looking in the windowed mode. This is 720. Let's make sure it is 720. Yep. So we'll try full screen. So it doesn't seem too bad. Negligible drop frames. I have been noticing some lag spikes every 30 seconds or so. There's one there. So it's not super smooth. You do get the occasional, there's another one, the occasional lag spikes. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, it's not. It's far from perfect as you, as you can see. We'll close out of that. Don't expect too much uh, from YouTube playback. I believe it's because it's rendering everything in software. So there's a lot of overhead. So we'll go back to Terminal. And we'll install a game. We'll do sudo apk add, and we'll do pingus, I believe it's called. And my password's 147147. 147. This is a Lemmings clone. It's a pretty fun little game. Go yes. All right, it's finished installing. I have tried installing Tuxcart, and it does install and open, but it's very, very laggy. On the Postmarket OS website, under the app section, it does mention um, it requires hardware rendering, and it struggles in software, so that's why. So now that's uh, installed, we can close that, and we go down to App Drawer, and go Pingus. We'll go Options, we'll go Full Screen, and we'll turn the sound down a little bit. Close. We will enable uh, the FPS counter. Done. So close that. You do have to exit out of it for the uh, settings to update. So open it back up. And there we go. Go story. It sort of looks a little bit like Yoshi's Island. That same art style. 
And we're in. That was pretty funny. Push a few others in splat. There we go, there's one. And. So if you like lemmings, it's a fun little game. Okay, so they're the good things. Let's look at the not so good things. Uh, if we go back to terminal. So it does also support a different type of package called flat packs. We can go flat pack and then uh, install. And we can do, for example, DOSBox. So it's there, but uh, I haven't been able to get any flat packs to run. They all install fine. They show up in the uh, apps tray. But every time I go to load any of them, the apps tray does nothing. And if I load it from uh, terminal, it uh, it gives me a, a generic error or just a, a, yeah, an error. I Googled it. I couldn't find any, any hits on it. So I'm not sure if it's just it's not designed for this or if I'm doing something wrong. But just keep that in mind. So we went flat pack install and we'll do FCEUX flat pack install nest. We'll do Nestopia, so we'll do two. Yep, install it. Yes. It is uh, quite slow to install as well. I've noticed these flat packs, it does take quite a time, especially for larger ones. So the Nestopia Flatpak has finished installing, and I will show you how to run it through uh, Terminal. So you type in Flatpak, space run. Now it's a bit tricky, you can't just type in Nestopia, you do have to type in the full name. It does expect two decimal points. So for this one it'll be ca dot underscore zero ld sk zero zero l dot capital N lowercase e s t o p i a and that's the error i get on every every flat pack i've installed um, it's probably just something like a permissions issue i haven't really looked too much into it i gave it a quick google couldn't find anything but i, I will continue looking at it and if i find a solution i'll mention it down below there are a lot of flat packs very very good ones that i do want to install loads of games on there are uh, open source engines and everything like that. So it'd be great to get them working, but as it is, out of the box, that's the error that you get every time. They do usually install to the app tray as well down here, so Nestopia, but when you click on it, there's no pop-ups, no warnings, no errors, there's nothing that just don't open. So overall, I think post-market OS is definitely an interesting uh, little distro you can try on your Chrome bit. It's a little bit slow, probably because of my very cheap USB hub, coupled with a very cheap flash drive. I'm sure if you had a, a decent uh, one of both of them, then you'll have a lot better better time. But eventually the Chrome bit is going to stop playing YouTube videos. Uh, it'll YouTube will just say you need to update your browser. It will happen eventually, and when that happens, this could be a viable alternative. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.